we are turning our dessert into the centerpiece, so you just kill two birds with one stone there. Janine Washley is here from Cloverfields Farm and Kitchen to show us how to do this. Um, one of the things you promised to show us earlier is taking a jelly roll and yes. turning it into a pine cone. Yes. Now, traditional jelly roll? Just a regular chocolate jelly roll, okay. and I filled it with ganache to make it a little extra special. I'm going to, can I turn this around? Oh, sure. Hang on, Jay, and I'm going to point this around so that and everybody the, can see how it's stacked together here. And the critical cuts were from the front of it, and it was at this angle, and then I took those two pieces that I um, cut off, and I put them right here. Oh, hang on. So I'm, I'm going to just kind of, oh, here. that's fine. So we've got um, a full jelly roll at the bottom, mm -hmm. and then you cut another one. And then I cut the two pieces that I cut off of the front. I just attached with frosting right here. Here's piece one, here's piece two. Okay. And then I just put a big blob of icing in the center to kind of round it out. And then when you ice something that has an odd shape like this, you don't go around like you would with a layer cake. You go, it's vertical strokes like this. Okay. All like right. you're painting. All right. So yeah. then um, on one of these, you've kind of made little marks to make it look with, like a pine cone. With the fondant, I took scissors, just very small crafting scissors, and I just cut the fondant, Clipped. and that made the oh. scales. Okay. But in this case, um, some people, uh, or if you would like for your children to do this, it's much easier just to use the almond slices and just insert them as you're doing right there. It's going to layer. Just, and you start at the bottom and just overlap the uh, preceding row. And that's all you do, just over and over and over okay. again. And with the... Um, with the candle cake, you're going vertical. It's very easy. So what you could do really is make a few of these, and instead of doing a, le a leveled, you know, a different level oh, yeah. candle display, mm -hmm. you do that, but with candles, with, with better cakes. Exactly. Okay. And uh, you know, the decorator rule is um, use odd numbers. So right. I would do three or five, depending on the party. Okay. And then the way that you serve it, um, of course, you you blow out your candle if you choose to use that, or you could use a little piece of yellow fondant if that makes you nervous. And you'd simply just remove it. I'm going to just totally, um, w we'll still work with this. You lay it on its side like this, okay. and then you can either slice it, you know, you, you kind of know where the two are. You can either slice it with one or two, and everything everybody's going to get a little bit of frosting and a little bit of cake. Now, you say you make the cake in a jelly roll pan, so you're making yes. a pound cake in mm -hmm. a big pan, and then what do you use to cut out? Um, a three inch cookie cutter. Okay. So these are three inch rounds and they look like this and you know that um, a good homemade pound cake always has the sugar crust on it. You want to cut that off because this will never soften up no matter how much frosting okay. you put on it. So you've cut that off and then you simply take it and you just put it down on the skewer like this. Okay. And you continue to stack. This one, the tall one has eight and this one has five. Okay. And then I used a, uh, a ice cream scoop and I scooped out the center where the uh, flame would, you know, be. Mm -hmm. And um, then the way that you apply the icing, again, you go vertically. Um, if you went side to side, you would shift and break your cake. You also, whenever you do any type of construction, you know, any type of um, centerpiece cake like this, you just apply the icing like this. You're going to go and a little heavy on it too to give yourself some, yes, some um, leeway. Yes, some, some leeway. And, um, and of course, you know, candles drip and that sort of thing, so it's okay to have the marks. Well, now I'm just going to do this. for error. I kind of <laughs> like that. Now, you can oh, do yeah. it with fondant. You absolutely can. And if in order to do it with, with fondant, um, you have to do a little bit of um, math here. So I would measure and I would take um, five inches plus one inch because I would want to tuck my edges in mm -hmm. here. And then um, this is three inches. So with it being round, it would be approximately nine inches. So it would be um, six inches tall and nine inches, but I probably do it 10 just to have a little leeway. Okay. And then um, you lay it on the side again, wrap it around, and then your little bit of frosting acts like glue. Mm -hmm. And then if you do have a little overlap here, just like when you cut wallpaper, you kind of move it over and just make a, um, using a straight edge, you just go up and then tear off the excess and okay. just mush it together. And it hides the seam as, here, I'll show you on it this It looks one. beautiful when you've done it here, although I've not See, really worked with the, fondant, so I don't know how well I would do this, but you can do it with the icing and absolutely. just leave it at that. Okay. Yep, and then um, just, you know, you're just kind of dragging along. Let's see, I don't want to get my hair in it. But you see, um, you know, you have candles that have texture to them, so you just keep working it like that, and it looks like icing or, uh, you know, your wax has dripped. So you just keep adding it and adding it and adding it and overlapping it. And then um, you can drop your candle into the center if you want to use a birthday candle or something mm -hmm. like that. And talking about birthdays, it just came to my attention that there's someone in studio that's going to have a birthday on. This week. Yes, on Friday. Yes. Mike Marshall, would you like to come over here and um, blow out your candles on your oh, wedding birthday cake? Well, so we have a birthday boy like a little bit early. 
Yes. And um, we have a little bit of birthday cake right here. And, and we're going to light I mean, a few candles. What could be better than getting a big hummingbird cake for your birthday? Oh, yeah. Drip away. A hummingbird cake is actually an oil-based cake. That's what makes carrot cake so delicious, and that's um, what makes this cake moist and wonderful. Of course, you know, we like to consider the fact that it has the um, pineapple and the bananas in it as our daily serving of fruit. Absolutely. So, happy birthday to well, thank you. you. My birthday is Friday. Yes. And that's and way too many candles, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> Mike well, never you tells look so young. <laughs> you, young at heart. Are we counting how old I, be, uh, I am or how old I feel? <laughs> wow. Well, you go right ahead well, and blow you. out your thank candles. Thank you very much. Let me make be, a wish. Let me make a wish. Let's see. They already won the lottery last week, so that's out. Cards are going to the sugar bowl. Keep that in mind, okay? <sighs> all right. All right. I blew them all out. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Thank Janine, you. Thank, thank you. And Janine always shares her recipes and her ideas mm -hmm. and her ways to build these things with us. So if you go to WDRB.com, you can look under the morning page and you will find a link. All you have to do is email Janine and she'll email you this whole booklet full of information and ideas for your holiday celebration. And there's her information on the screen. Thank you, Janine. You're welcome.